Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video, we're going to take a journey from cells to DNA. So starting off at the, the, the basic kind of building block of, of all living things, the cell, and starting to zoom in through various kind of levels right down towards the structure, the molecule that we call DNA, and looking at some of the features along the way. All right, so we're going to start off and give you a bit of an overview of, of some of the stages of the, of the things that we're going to do in this um, in this presentation, in this video. So we're going to start to look at a really a simplified kind of reminder of the structure of the cell, just to kind of put things in context. Then we're going to first zoom into the nucleus, and then inside the nucleus we're going to identify the chromosomes, and then inside the chromosomes we're going to find the sections that we call genes, which are made up of this molecule that we call DNA. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to remind ourselves of is this structure of a cell. Okay, this is a really simplified diagram. Okay, cells are more complicated than this, but just these are the three kind of main components I want you to be able to keep in mind at the moment. So starting with the cell membrane, that, that kind of that thin layer that exists around the outside of the cell. Okay, it's designed to allow things to get into and out of the cell, but still provide some sort of, some level of um, kind of protection and structure and acts a bit as a bit of a filter um, to control how things go in and out of the cell. We then have the cytoplasm, which is the, the fluid that makes up most, that fills up most of the cell. It's mostly water and it has some other th things dissolved in it. And um, without the cytoplasm, there'd be no structure to the cell. It's like, it, it, it makes it like a water balloon that's filled. Okay, and then the nucleus, kind of this, this center point that you can see on the, the diagram over here. Okay, so that's where we're going to focus our attention now. Okay, so we're going to look at the nucleus here. Now you can see in this photo, this is actually a, a microscope photo, and, and that each of these little circles that's stained is the nucleus of a, one of the particular cells. Okay, so that we often refer to the nucleus as the control center of the cell. Okay, so it's kind of the hub or the, the, the brain of the cell, if you like, that without it, that the cell can't function effectively. Um, in all types of cells, except red blood cells in our body, have a nucleus. Um, and that it, this nucleus contains the genetic instructions that um, help the cell to function and also help to describe the, the features that, that make up you. Okay, it's the same genetic instructions in, um, in almost all of your cells, and we'll get to that in a future video. And the idea is that it can send messages out to the rest of the cell to, um, to, to be able to kind of control things. Okay, but so inside the nucleus, the key thing that I want you to take away from this is that it contains the instructions. Okay, so now we're going to look at, okay, well, how are those, con those con instructions in there? You know, you can't fold up a tiny little piece of paper and kind of stuff it inside the cell, that it's obviously, there's a different mechanism going on. Okay, and so that's where we come to our chromosomes. Okay, so here's a, 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 a mic again, a microscope kind of photo um, that's given some false color to kind of give you, a, um, to help visualize things a little better. Um, each of these is a chromosome. Okay, um, these chromosomes are found inside the nucleus. These are the kind of the core of the instructions that we, um, that make up you and make up me um, and all other living things as well. Um, different chromosomes for different living things and different amounts of them. Okay, that the word chromosome literally means coloured bodies. Chromo, like chroma for colour, zone for body. Okay, and the, the reason that they're called that is that when they were first identified inside the nucleus of a cell, they're like these little, you know, little, little coloured strands that they could see. Okay, so that's where they get derived their name. Okay, that inside, um, inside your cells that you have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Okay, 22 pairs um, of, of, I suppose you might say, regular chromosomes, um, although each one is different, and then one pair which is called your sex chromosomes, XX or XY, which dictate your um, biological sex, okay, male or female. And the idea is that for each of these pairs of chromosomes, one of those pair, one part of each pair came from each of your parents. So for every chromosome, you had one copy from mum and one copy from dad. Okay, and that's the, the combination that you get from the parents, your two parents, then affects um, how you are. You know, so, so we inherit um, particular kind of characteristics or traits from our parents through these instructions that get passed down. But exactly how those instructions get passed down then affects whether we do get the features of mum or dad or neither or both. Okay, and so now we're going to say, all right, well, 
how do the, does this chromosome, this little coloured body inside the cell, actually contain instructions? That How does it actually translate into the features that you have? And that is by the use of or, or what we call genes. Okay, so thinking the chromosome being, you know, it's large enough that it can be seen with a microscope, but it's actually this really tightly coiled bundle of instructions in the form of DNA that we're going to look at next um, in a little bit more detail. But the idea is that um, particular sections of the chromosome um, that we've been able to identify only in recent years are the, the bits that actually contain the instructions for this bit and that bit. Okay, if you want to imagine, think about the instructions inside your cell, like, um, you know, a whole kind of um, volume of encyclopedias or whole sets of books in a library. Okay, and so the, a particular book or a particular kind of section of a book or chapter of a book is the bit that gives instructions on a particular bit. And so the idea is that we it's taken us a very long time to be able to map out the whole library um, so that we can identify which sections contain which instructions, because then that also helps us to understand um, why you get particular features and also um, being able to understand if there's abnormalities, you know, things that, are, that um, we get are faulty versions of particular genes. If you can identify where it is, then we can analyze it better. Okay, these genes produce specific traits. Some traits connect purely to one gene, other genes will dictate multiple traits, um, and other traits are due to a range of different genes. Okay, so it's not just, not always simple as um, one gene, one trait, um, but there are some things like that. Okay, um, but so, that, so it's a section of the DNA molecule, or, or a section of the chromosome. Okay, and now we're going to look at this concept of DNA. Okay, because we, we talked about the fact that a chromosome contains these instructions that then dictate what this cell is. And then, you know, we kind of made, I made a bit of a, you know, a, a quip about that you couldn't take a piece of paper and kind of fold it up small enough, and that's where the instructions are written. Okay, that it needs to be written in a different way. And that is, inside your cell, it's written in the form of a molecular code or a molecule that we call DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, so the D, the N, and the A are highlighted there, so you can see how that kind of comes about. So it's actually a code um, that's, that's built into this physical molecule. It's a real thing, okay, and that it's, um, it has, yeah, so it says this, this uh, four-letter code. We're going to look at DNA in, in a lot more detail in a future video, okay, so this is just to kind of put it in context. But you can see over here, um, you know, so this is kind of, both, both of these are models or, or kind of visualizations or sketches of how this looks, but the idea is that DNA has this this twisted ladder kind of appearance or structure, um, which is what we call a double helix. Okay, so helix is Greek for spiral, so double um, helix is, is where these two strands are spiraling together. And what that does is that it means that the DNA molecule, this code, where it would have to be incredibly long and large to contain all the instructions that your cells need, and we've got to have 23 pairs of these chromosomes that contain DNA, um, that by having this twisted ladder structure, then it means like a, like a, like a slinky or a spring, that it can compress right down um, into a really small space, a really tightly coiled. But So the instructions are all there, but they're able to be contained in a much smaller space than they otherwise would. Okay, and that you can see that we've got kind of the blue sort of sides to the ladder, and then we've got um, these rungs. And the information is that, that we're talking about as a code is actually built into the rungs of the ladder and the order of the rungs, the material that make up the rungs. Okay, so like I said, we'll cover this in a future video, just, just trying to put things in a little bit of context for you. Okay, so we've gone from the cell, the basic building block of all living things, you know, all sing, you know, from the tiniest single-celled organism all the way up to us and beyond. Okay, and then from the cell, we move down into the nucleus, the control center or the, the, the middle part of the cell. Okay, we've then been able to um, see the chromosomes contained inside um, the, these colored bodies in, contained inside the nucleus. And what we see is this, that sections of each chromosome are responsible for giving us the traits that make up who you are, and that those traits are coded in this molecule that we call DNA. Okay, so that's kind of showing you here, just looking at this sort of diagram, to try and put some of that in context. Okay, so seeing that we start from this, this big level and we zoom our way down and through right down to the, the nitty gritty of this tiny of this level of code. Um, and that 
you can see how intricate and specific it has to be to make you as unique as you are. And, you know, and even then, there's whole sections of the DNA that, that we don't really know exactly what it does or what it's designed to do. Um, but we know that it's there and we know that it's important to who you are and that without it, it we would be incomplete. Um, but even then, we, we can recognise there's a whole lot of complexity that we can't um, fully understand. And we'll, sorry, we don't fully understand at this point. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.